Hi and welcome back to MRTV. This is a very special video because this is the first English experience report of the MRTV experience. Some of you might know that I'm offering a service here at the MRTV headquarters in Dortmund, Germany, where people can visit me in the office and where they can try out all of the different headsets, all of the VR headsets, and now even the cool Dexmo haptic gloves. That's the MRTV experience. If you want to do that, check out the link in the description below. It's called mrtvexperience.com and then you can also come here and check out all the, the devices and now today I want to introduce you guys here this is Andrew from the UK and Yannick from the Netherlands hi guys right. hello how hi. are you doing fine thank you yeah, yeah great and it's so great um, to finally do this kind of experience report in English language because normally the, the, the big majority of people who come here are German normally. Mm -hmm. And then I do this interview in German language and on the English channel, nobody knows that I'm doing this actually. Right. So that's really good. Yeah, guys, great that you've been here. The first question that I want to ask you guys, was it worth it to come and check out the MRTV experience? Totally. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we knew that before. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you knew yeah, that yeah. before already? <laughs> yeah, we, we knew it because... Uh, we can't possibly invest in so many headsets. <laughs> right, and we get right. to try everything, and we got to try everything that we wanted to. Yeah, and that was really cool. Yeah, that is so cool. Yeah. And uh, you know what? It's always super interesting for our audience to find out what you thought about the different headsets. Because yeah. the good thing is, you are normal people. <laughs> you are regular right. people. Right. Yeah. And you know, like yeah. uh, <laughs> for some, for some. Uh, um, on YouTube, you always see those YouTubers mm -hmm. and you're not sure, are they being paid off or what? Right. And for you guys, <laughs> you are regular people. Mm -hmm. So that's amazing. So um, first of all, I would like to ask you a bit about your background in VR. So um, Yannick, I know you're a game developer actually for oh. Little Chicken. Little yeah? Chicken. Little Chicken. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, and you've done VR um, before already, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've done, I've actually, gotten the DK1. Wow. So that's where it started. Long time ago, a very um, ago. Uh, sickness inducing at that time, right? I could only last <laughs> for a minute and then it was uh, off with the headset and right. uh, on to the bathroom because right. it, was, it was really bad. It was bad, I can remember. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But um, then then you had the, the Vive, right? Until now, you have the original Vive, the HTC Vive. Yeah, I borrowed it from my company and right. I'm, I'm using it sometimes to just see what's out there right and, um also uh, uh i've seen the playstation vr all oh, right set. psvr and yeah. the vibe so, okay uh, yeah. so you were interested uh, to see uh, what the current technology is like right coming exactly. here exactly I'm, I'm big into sim racing perfect and then i noticed with the vive it's just too low of a resolution right. to be really useful for that kind of stuff. Right. Too much yeah. screen door effect. Yeah, exactly. And uh, it's yeah. going to bring you out of the experience. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool. And you, you also have experience in VR. Yep. Tell us about what headset are you having uh, at home? I have the Lenovo headset, okay. which is a mixed reality headset. Right. And uh, it's pretty good. Yep. It's pretty good. But I'm looking to upgrade and right. find something with a better res resolution. Uh, better tracking. Right. And I think today... You found might, something? Yeah, I think we okay. might have seen a few things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, um, tell us um, what kind of uh, games do you play or what do you do in VR normally? I play Sims. I, uh, I paint sometimes. I, uh, Google Earth is another thing I right, use as well, right. which is a really great app. And, right. uh, um, and I'm looking to maybe do racing Sims and things. But okay. I, I wanted a better headset to do that. Okay. So, Great, perfect. Yeah. Um, by the way, um, thanks for coming again. Yeah, you, you, he, you come from um, actually you come from Cambridge. Yep. But now you're yeah. living in Germany. Yeah. yeah. And you come from Utrecht. Mm -hmm. Utrecht. 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 Yeah. Utrecht. <laughs> in the Netherlands. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, now also you're living in Germany, so you mm -hmm. had like a yeah. like a two-hour drive or one-hour drive. One-hour. Drive. Perfect. Yeah. That's really cool. Not yeah, too, too far hard. away. Right? No. Mm. Okay, so we know your background, and now let's go mm. through the headsets that you've seen. So um, you tried the Oculus Quest first. How was it? It's great for a mobile device. It's, yeah, it's right. very cool. Yeah, very like cool. It, right? I think anyone starting with VR should try that first. Yeah, that's a good, good yeah. point, right? Yeah. It's like, um, yeah, you don't need yeah. a computer and right. stuff. You just get the headset straight away. You don't yeah. need to, to invest in a computer or a strong beast right. of a computer to power it. What do you think about the, the visual fidelity as compared to your Len Lenovo Explorer? Um, with the Quest, the Quest, no, uh, it's really good. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the graphics uh, aren't 
quite so advanced, but they don't need to be. Right. And everything was very fluid. The tracking right. was great. Right. And you were completely non-tethered, which was also a point. That's very right. important. It's that makes good. it really good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. And then for you, you tried the, the Rift S first here, right? I started with the Rift S. How, how, what do you think as compared to the, your Vive at home? A huge upgrade. I was... It's amazing, yeah, right? Quite it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the, the, I have the original Vive head strap, so the comfort, I think, mm. actually, of all the headsets we tried <laughs> today, the comfort of wearing the Rift S was the best. Wow, that's like, amazing. It just... That's pretty amazing, Fifth right? Reviews. For that kind yeah. of money, like uh, yeah. $399, or here in Europe we pay 450 euros. Mm -hmm. Not bad, right? Really good. What, yeah. did you th what did you think about the, the Rift S? I was surprised at the clarity, the resolution. Right. No screen door effect almost. Yeah, right. And uh, everything was very smooth. It's a very smooth experience. Right. Really good. It was really great. Wow, yeah. cool. So you guys like the Rift S? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. cool. That's cool. Yeah. Then both of you tried the Valve Index. So, yes. um, Yannick, tell us, what do you think about the Valve Index? So, I really liked it. Okay. Um, the field of view, I think I just took for granted immediately when I was in <laughs> right. there. Yeah, so yeah. It was, you get used to it very easily, yeah, right? It was yeah. very quickly felt super natural. Um, yeah, like I said, the wearing the headset itself was a little bit less comfortable okay. as the Rift S. Wow, interesting. All so, right. Um, Maybe it's also in like taking longer to adjust right. the headset on your on your face mm -hmm. head, uh, but all in all, I really liked it. Okay, it's okay. What do you think about the, uh, the 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 picture quality of the of the Valve Index as compared to the Rift? Um, actually, it was comparable, wasn't it? Comparable. Sorry, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's interesting, yeah. right? Yeah. What I also want to mention is the knuckle controllers. Those right. were. Mm. Very cool. Like, yeah, I, that was the first time I got to try those, and they're <laughs> yeah. very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's cool that you don't have to um, grip them all the no, time, you right? Can just it's, it's, stand oh. naturally and still have the controllers there. Uh, right. It's very cool. Right. Mm. What do you think about the Valve Index? Yeah, I thought uh, you're quite right when you made the point about the field of view. You didn't notice it. I it was only when you had to notice. I uh, yeah, you can see further, yeah. and. The uh, resolution was great, and the tracking was really fab. Right, that's, right. That's, that's, that's like really it, good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the knuckles, the f yeah, that's Controls. very cool. That's, that's cool stuff. That's got some potential. <laughs> that's going to be something really good. I, I think, think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Really cool. Yeah. Right. Um, so if uh, you have to choose, make a choice between the Rift S and the Valve Index, which one would you go for? Uh. <laughs> I think the knuckles are really cool, right? I have yeah. to talk to Yannick yeah. about it. I think it's, uh, <laughs> I think they're really cool, but the the comfort of the first headsets of the Rift S was also yeah a bit that's, better. That's maybe. pretty cool. Okay, but but maybe that's just like you said, mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna have to take more time to adjust it, and then that would be fine too. Yeah, right. If, they were both yeah. comfortable. They were yeah. both great, and I could imagine having both of them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah like me. I have to. Yeah. I also have both. Yeah, you have everything <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Right, then both of you tried the, the Pimax 8K Plus. Mm -hmm. what, yeah. what are your thoughts about the Pimax 8K Plus? Yeah, it's a fabulous field of view. Yeah. 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 That's uh, that the increase there is so big that you do know that it again. Right. That mm -hmm. it's like, okay, normally you don't have anything in your peripheral vision. You're right. But now it's suddenly mm -hmm. all there as, right. as it's supposed to be. And you played so. Boneworks. Tell us yeah. about your experience playing Boneworks with the Pimax 8K Plus. Yeah, that was very cool. It's, it's, it's also a new experience for me. It's right. was Everything was time. new, right? Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, Boneworks exactly. and uh, seeing like the thing that your body is there and then yeah. not even having to look down completely to be able to see it, just seeing it there in your lower vision. That's right. very cool. Right. Um, of course, with a huge field of view and a very um, like you have to, there's no teleportation in Boneworks. Right. That was, you have to get used to that. That's true. I mm -hmm. climb That's up true. through a cupboard and yeah. the cupboard fell over. Yeah. That was. <laughs> it was quite something, right? Yeah. <laughs> it felt quite real. Yeah, yeah. that felt mm -hmm. real. Exactly. What do you think about the Pimax? I think it's great. I think I'd like to spend some more time trying it out before right. I invest so much. Okay. Because it's expensive. Right. Yeah. Right. But, but I think it's a dream headset, totally. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you think about the um, the comfort with the with the Pimax now? 
Yeah, this was an elastic uh, strap, yeah, right? Yeah, there um, was like the right the strap. We're yeah. still using the strap here, not the modular audio strap, mm -hmm. the the strap, the very very basic strap. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we didn't really spend that much time adjusting it. Right, um, it's comfortable, um, but the headsets that we tried later didn't flip up, and that's also handy. Yeah. That's, that's right. a nice thing to have. Right, um, but. Yeah, it's comfortable. It's, it's comfortable. It's okay. Yeah, it's really, really good. Right. It's really good. But probably the Rift S was still more comfortable. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. if you compare it. I think yeah. that's yeah. something, definitely. yeah. For sure. Yeah. That's something you can just put straight on. Right. And then come yeah. straight out and go back in. Yes. And I think the others are just a little bit more fiddly to get on and off. Mm -hmm. It's not yeah, a problem. It's, yeah, but it's, yeah. especially if you if you exchange it with other people with different yeah. head sizes, it's like very yeah. fiddly and it's not so nice. I yeah. Think. And like with, you, the, with the knob, you just, it's, it's just so good, right? Yeah. 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 But the new Pimax headsets also have the knobs, actually. Okay. And then okay. you have to come yeah. back here to okay. try out. <laughs> we do that. We will, yeah. 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 It will be good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. Then you also tried out the HP Reverb. Tell yeah. us about it. You tried Google Earth on them all. Tell us. How yeah, was it with right. the HP I'm, Reverb? I'm a fan of Google Earth. It was uh, <laughs> the clarity and the distance. So reading text is very easy on the eyes then. Right. And the, the distance that you can see, the objects far away, is really super yeah. and it makes uh, your eyes strain in lesser resolutions but with the hp reverb i was really surprised yeah that's i mean the pimax is also really great and yeah. i didn't try out google earth there right but uh, i would imagine it'd be really similar but yeah. it's a great headset for that and you don't have to have towers you just put it on yeah and mm. you're you're set up so yeah. you really like the the resolution of the hp reverb yeah i think that would nice. be really good for simmers yeah. and People that do apps like Google Earth and things. Right. So, yeah. What do you think about the HP Reverb? Yeah, like you said, the resolution, the clarity of the screen, it's super. It's, um, it's quite something, right? Yeah. yeah. It's uh, especially we were standing in Tokyo. <laughs> right. Clear blue skies. Right. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Cool. That's really cool. Okay. Nice. Now each of you has to think about the headset that you're going to buy. If you if you don't care you don't mm. think about the money you just okay you this mm -hmm. one is the one that you want to buy, let's start with you. <laughs> okay, so I would have said the Oculus Rift S. Okay, but yeah. then you told me about the better head strap for the Primax. Oh really? Um, right. Yes. And if that comes with the crazy resolution, crazy right. FOV, which HX. is great for mm -hmm. right. looking beside you when you're driving in a right. car, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, then I would probably go for the Primax. Right. Uh, That's a good choice. Yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah, cool. And you? Yeah, I think Pimax is uh, great for, for many things mm -hmm. because of this extra field of view. Um, but funnily enough, you said you switch it off or go to the normal, the middle view on it. Right, right. And that's really enough as well. You're right. But I okay. quite like the index because that also yeah. had a pretty great field Yeah, right. It was very comparable. Yeah, yeah. It was smaller, but it still has yeah. a good field of view. Yeah. I think the three headsets, the S, the uh, Rift S and the Index, are also pretty good and uh, just the accessibility to get into it, the right. ease of that. Yes. The, I, I, maybe I'd buy two or three <laughs> if I had the money. <laughs> I'd buy three headsets. Yeah. It makes sense, but unfortunately yeah. you have yeah. to choose one now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then index. Okay, cool. Yeah. Very good choice. Yeah. Very good choice. Both of you. Very nice. Yeah. Cool. That's cool. I'm so happy that we can do this in English <laughs> now. Also, Okay, that's for the headset. Also, you had the chance to try out the Dexmo Haptic Gloves. Yes. Yeah. Tell us about your experience with the ha Dexmo Haptic Gloves. It's crazy. <laughs> it's, uh, we had the, the, like the starter version of the experience. Yeah, because without, not the, VR. The tracking right. for the hand isn't set up and the yeah, VR wasn't set exactly. up. Exactly. We did not do the VR demo because I have not yet set up the, the trackers. But we did the demo that I also did in Las Vegas, where yes. you see something on the laptop yeah. or on the computer, exactly. and then you can feel something. Yes. Tell us about it. It's crazy. You, the, the one with the buttons, you have three buttons in front of you, and you can feel like the resistance in each button is different. And when you click it, the button is away, goes away. Um, the texture, like they have a rumble into, built into the glove. Right. Feeling that when you slide your finger across the surface was very cool. Uh, yeah. Lots of, um, I mean, as a game developer, I have yeah. so many applications. Wow, it's, right? You can go crazy yeah. with those. If everyone would have them, in the future you yes. will. Yeah. It's going to be exactly. wild. Yeah. It's going to be very cool. What is your feeling about the gloves? Uh, there's so much potential. Like you said, those things are uh, really great. And uh, yeah, if you're in a room or trying to feel the wall, 
or, right. or uh, to make choices based on feeling. Right. Not just visual cues or, or sound cues, but, right. but tactile cues. Yeah, it's really, it's going to be really cool. Wow. Yeah. Exactly. Or think about it. Like, it's mind blowing. Yeah. Like in a game, suddenly um, there's no light anymore and you have yeah. to feel things. Yeah. And yeah, then make right, you, oh right. my goodness. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is going to be so, so good. In horror games or right. anything oh else. My yeah. God. Or to, to feel a weapon that you need or something. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be cool. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's awesome wow. technology. Really, really well done. Yeah. yeah. I'm so glad that I could show them to you. Yeah, thank you yeah. so much. That was yeah. really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's nice. Mm. Yeah, cool. I have asked all my questions. So mm -hmm. thanks so much for coming. And I'm so happy that you liked it, actually. Thank That's you. really cool. That's, um, yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, You're thank welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So you guys, you can come here too. <laughs> and I'm telling you, if you are probably in, in Holland, it's not far away, you can drive over. It's, it's uh, two hours with the car. And if you are in London, you can come over here as well. We have a direct connection from London Stansted to Dortmund Airport with Ryanair for 10 pounds. It's for free. Right, so, so go to mrtvexperience.com and book your ticket, try out the Pimax headsets, try the Dexmo gloves. These guys liked it and actually, it. actually really, I can tell you, everyone who comes here, everyone has until now liked it. <laughs> yeah, really, really. Yeah, I'm so happy perfect. about that. So yeah, yeah. yeah. if you want to come, go to mrtvexperience.com, book your ticket, and I'd be glad to have you over. All right. Thanks again Yeah, for coming here. And Thank I you. wish you a great way home. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, for you guys, if you enjoyed this kind of um, experience report, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now, and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.